Hey, my name is Kevin. And I'm Angie. And we own Happy Acres Campground in Angola, Indiana. <laughs> hey, we're coming to you from Sedona, Arizona. If you're new here, Angie and I are on the hunt for the perfect fifth wheel to put at our campground for our fun weekend overnight stays. Yes. Today's video is the Alliance Paradigm 382RK. This is our third RV that we've seen. I want to tell you what we think. What was your first overall impression? I would say my first impression was it seemed very big. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it is a wide body, so 101 inch, and you can definitely tell from the minute you walk in. It's very wide, very open. Uh, with the kitchen cabinets being a lighter color, it's very bright, airy, big windows. Yeah. The first yeah. impression was it's big. Yes, it had, there was a lot of room. It is my favorite floor plan. Uh, if you have been following along and you watched the video about the, that the was Durango. A KZ Durango. The Durango, yes. Then um, this is a very similar floor plan to the Durango. Uh, rear kitchen, a big kitchen, lots of counter space. I do think that the Alliance, the windows on the camp side are really big, which is one of the things I like. And one of the things that's also important to us is, or well, probably more me than anything, is office space. I do need to have a desk. We would actually have to remove one of the couches and most likely the one that's on the campsite. Yeah. The way that the windows are set up, um, the side where the couch is, the window's a little bit higher, which would be perfect to just uh, put a desk there. If there's activity, I can still be a part of it, which is important. I do I do have concerns that if my desk and, and work area is separated off far away from the action, that I will never use it. My concerns is that the work area will just grow and we won't have a living room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a concern. <laughs> I have a lot of papers, lots of stuff. <laughs> Let's see, the other thing that was really neat that I hadn't considered was the half bath as soon as you walk in the door. There's times on the campground when I will come back to have lunch or I just need to run in real quick. Uh, it has a half bathroom yeah. right through the door, one step away. Yeah, it, it's nice. And part of the reason is because the actual main bathroom is all the way at the front. If you did have guests over, you would they would have to like trek through your bedroom to use the bathroom. So that the half bath is good when the bathroom is all the way in the front. I I really like the kitchen. It's I'm not I'm not a chef. I don't cook a lot, so that's not the reason. I, I don't know why. I just like the kitchen. <laughs> it's I don't know. It's big and wide open. If you've ever worked in a small RV space, a small RV kitchen. A lot of them just have no place to put anything. You're trying to make a salad and prepare some meat and cut some vegetables. It's kind of nice to have the extra counter space. Yes, I agree. It has plenty of drawers, um, upper cabinets, lots of, lots of storage. It has a really nice pantry. It's a, it's a big pantry, which is nice. One of the cool things that's different um, on the Alliance than any of the other RVs that I've seen is they have the little trash receptacle in the corner of the... <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you, dump, you dump the trash in the corner and then you access the trash can and remove it from the exterior of the RV. Yes. So you never have to walk through your camper with a bag of trash that may be dripping, leaking, stinking. Right. So yeah. it has a separate door on the outside. So you just pull it out, you dump it, you put a new bag in and set it back in place. It is a really neat option. I haven't decided if I like it better than the pull-out trash can. <laughs> really like a nice I know trash you can. I, so I don't know I, I think it's cool I definitely like it better than it being under the sink and just a trash can sitting somewhere or something like that so it does have a real tile backsplash in there oh yes so yeah. uh, a lot of the trailers we've looked at have had a wallpaper or a wallboard that simulates brick or block or stone or some kind also it has a coat closet it does have a coat closet yes so that's that's on our list. It's kind of a it's a it's a want, but um, yes, it has a coat closet, so that's nice. Huge living area. Yeah, I think that part of that's that wide body, that 101 inch wide. Yeah. With the dual slides, it's uh, I mean, it makes it feel gigantic. Yeah, it? definitely big enough for a dance party. <laughs> it's important because I have a lot of those. <laughs> I really liked. I really liked the front bathroom. I like the layout of it and the design of it. 
I like how big it is. And it's not that I spend a lot of time in the bathroom, but some RVs, the bathroom is so small that you feel like you're hitting your elbows every time you move. And this one is, is big enough. The shower is big. Sure. Um, it's probably a bigger deal for you with drying hair and putting on makeup. It's actually a nice area you could be in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I like that the, the countertop is big, but they only put one sink in it, which leaves still Plenty significant amount of space. counter space, which is nice in the bathroom. And speaking of the countertop, I think uh, Alliance does something different than the other manufacturers. They have a poured epoxy countertop, which is, I think it's really neat. It's different from everything else you see out there. And uh, it adds a nice little, nice little touch to it. The bedroom has a, a cool, couple cool features. It has the hidden little storage area in the dresser, but it also has the side tables, which is another want on our list. So yeah, we get to check that off, which is nice. But otherwise it's just, I mean, the bedroom is nice. There's nothing super fancy or special about it. It's perfect. It would be, we would, again, we would put a queen bed in it versus the king, because that's just how we roll. I like that it, it checks off all our boxes. You know it what does. we didn't talk about is that it doesn't have the Motley Crue stripes. They're yeah. pretty basic stripes on the outside. So it really, it checks off all of our boxes. I like that. I guess the uh, complaint I would have in the bathroom, that front closet for us, I feel like seems like overkill. Yes and no, for, probably for us, it, it's more than what we would need, but I would say f around the 40 foot length. It's it's about a standard size closet, I would say. Probably. Yeah, um, and plus, once you get a washer and dryer in there, that's gonna, uh... oh, we're getting a washer and dryer. We're not getting a washer and dryer. <laughs> we have a beautiful washer room. Why do we need another one? Here's the secret. We've actually looked at two of these. We looked at one a long time ago the same day that we looked at the Brinkley. We looked at another one uh, just the other day and it had the same problem. The, the pantry door in the bathroom hits the trim when you open it and they did it in both. The first time we thought maybe that the slide wasn't all the way out, but the second one was doing it too. And um, it's just like a poor design. You can't open the cabinet all the way. So it's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. And also another thing that I noticed is the drawers themselves, not necessarily the drawer faces, but the drawers, they're really, they seem really cheaply made. Um, they're rough to the touch and, and you can see all those nail holes. And I don't know, I, to me, the, the craftsmanship as far as that stuff goes seemed a little bit maybe lacking. What's your thoughts? I agree. I I still struggle a little bit with the build quality. Here's the problem. Is you've heard we've been in the Brinkley. We've been in a few of the Brinkleys two different times now, and I have a hard time rec reconciling at the same price point uh, the quality of the Paradigm. Yeah, it, it was not, it was definitely not the same as the Brinkley. I would probably put it on par with the Durango. Yeah, myself. absolutely. Um, similar uh, quality, but there was just a few, a few things here or there that um, to me stood out. Talk about our list of things that we didn't like about it. Yeah, I thought that's what we were doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of behind. <laughs> I have a hard um, time paying attention. <laughs> So anyway, that that well, that would probably be the the biggest thing that we didn't like was the um, just the I don't know the craftsmanship. The I I I think I went into looking at this alliance thinking before I ever even got there that this was going to be the one. Like I had it in my head, this is going to be the one, and I just had this perception of what it was going to be like, and it wasn't. So. That's that's hard to recon reconcile for me in my brain that I need to like change my perspective. It's still a really nice RV. It's like, absolutely really yes. nice still. Yes. I think part of the problem was we toured a friend's uh, Alliance Avenue, uh, which is at a price point much lower than the Paradigm. And they seem to be equal quality. Don't they? Yeah. Don't you feel like the Avenue model was it as nice as this one was? Yeah, I, I agree. And I liked the styling of 
theirs better than this one. And that's that's another thing that's on my list of, of things that I don't really like. I I just generally don't like the interior design of it. <laughs> I just don't. I don't like the interior design of it. I don't like the trim. Um, I don't the the contours of the trim and or the color really. It, there's something really drab about it. That's that's the best word I can come up with. You are an RV snob. It's it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but I mean, it's my personal preference. I don't know. I... So if we're voting, I vote. Let's keep it on the list. It's it's still not a no for me, but I do want to give people an update on the Durango after you vote on this one. Okay, I vote to keep it on the list. I yeah. think it's a uh, it's solid. I, it feels feels nice. Mm -hmm. I, I think I could sleep in that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so far we've said to keep all of the ones we've looked at on the list, so that might be a problem. Um, but I do want to give you an update on the Durango. When I looked at it, Kevin wasn't with me, and uh, so he, he just had to watch it based on the video, just like you guys, and based on what I said. The one I looked at was pretty far away. So we found one that was close to us, but it was used. It was a 22. I thought, no big deal. He, he'll at least be able to see the floor plan. And sure, the floor plan was similar, the, colors were similar. The, it was all the same, it was the exact same unit, exact same unit. Um, so we went to look at it and... <sighs> it didn't wear very well. No. I'm not sure how the people used it, but for a uh, year old trailer, it seemed to be pretty beat up. It seems like the material on the steps didn't wear well. The exterior seemed faded and had a lot of like pulled rivets or fasteners where it seemed kind of, it just didn't look very well. It was in bad shape. And I'm guessing that people, whoever had it probably were full-time RVers, but ones that didn't really take care of their RV. <laughs> and they wanted 80 for it. Or Almost something. full price. Yeah. And I just thought, mm, we might be sucking on a dream sickle. <laughs> Based on that... I don't think I could ever get Kevin <laughs> to want to have a Durango. I, I don't think that. I'm. I don't think I'm interested in the KZ Durango. Yeah. I think I, I could take that one off the list if you're willing to. I'm willing to take. I mean, we have to start taking some off the list. So, I'm sorry, KZ Durango, but you're out. Yeah, there's our update. That's where we're at so far. We have seen one other one. We are gonna be putting that together for you guys. That will be our next video. We're still on the hunt. Have not been able to find any in the wild. So all of the ones that we've seen have been at dealerships, but I oh will, we'll take it. So that's pretty much it for us today. We're gonna wrap it up. Don't just camp. Camp happy.